What's up guys, Call Sign Spade here and today I'm going to show you how to fix your foregrip with the JG Aug A1 and A2. In my last video I went over how the grip broke in my JG Aug A2. This also applies with the A1 since they both use the same exact grip and the way it broke was that there's a little aluminum piece inside the grip that is not made very good there's a big hole in it. There's not, you know, any good uh, structural integrity with the metal piece, and it bent rather easy. Couldn't really support the weight of the gun that well. So I'm going to go over how to fix this, and it's not an easy fix. If I were you, I would much rather buy an AUG A3 or A4 by JG rather than the A1 and A2. However, if you are wanting to do this anyways then uh, I hope you have some welding knowledge well not welding but just cutting with metals and whatnot because that's what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to get some really good power tools and cut some metal so what we did is first you know we, we split the grip in half just like this uh, there's a little bit of glue on the top so when you you know take off when, when you when you're ready to split this apart be careful and be gentle with it um, and just be mindful that there's glue up here and also when you split this apart the fume from the glue is going to be pretty strong it's not going to smell very good I'm not sure what kind of glue it is but I would suggest not to inhale it be very careful not to inhale any of the glue fumes since they could be potentially toxic now once you get your grip apart what you're going to want to do is use that little metal piece for reference uh, depending on how severely it is broken but try to use it as a reference as much as you can now what we did is you see these black grooves inside of here what we made to accommodate for a new metal piece was this this is a steel bolt you can use whatever metal you want but I would suggest using a strong metal such as steel and we have just a metal nut on here and two washers now in case if you're wanting to know the width of this bolt is 8 millimeter and the height of this bolt is 55 millimeters so obviously there's a lot of modifications we did into this um, obviously we put a pinhole into the through the bolt just like that and also uh, not sure if you can see that really good but we shaved off the sides here so that uh, the top of the bolt can fit into the barrel of the AUG so this is actually not that hard to do so what you need to do is have the bottom washer here underneath this plastic chamber thing I'm not quite sure what it's called and then have the top washer on top of everything and then tighten that down be careful not to tighten it down way too tight because again this is just being supported by plastic so don't tighten this too tight just make sure it's tight enough to not wobble around inside of there so all you need to do now is assort the grip back together I would highly suggest gluing this grip back together since it's not going to be held on all that great um, with just these pins they hold on to it decently but uh, it, I mean the glue it definitely does a much better job with the pins in here so I would suggest just loosening this up a bit so that's a little bit easier getting the grip on back together just like this and just tighten it down don't use any tools to tighten this down just tighten it down with your fingers and the grip may want to split apart on you when doing this but yeah. now we got this really tiny bolt here I'm not sure what kind of metal it's made out of but it bends fairly easy but it won't be much of an issue and we got a very tiny nut so without bumping the camera again as you can see in here this is the barrel of the AUG you get this hole I'm gonna try to line it up with the camera you get this hole right here and what we're gonna do is align the hole in the grip 
along with the hole in here. So I'm going to have to do this off camera real quick because I don't have a lot of working space to show you. All right, and here's the finished product. This grip is pretty sturdy on there. It's um, definitely a lot more sturdy on there than it was with the original JG Aug. So this has definitely only been an improvement. Unfortunately, if you do this modification, um, or should I say just fixing it, the only easiest way to, this is not going to be a foldable grip anymore. This is strictly going to be just a stable grip that is just not going to move. Uh, I'm going to move the camera now and just kind of show you what this is. So as you can see, this is the front, this is the back, here's the grip, and um, it's not much to it, but it's definitely pretty sturdy. Something I would definitely recommend is with this back part right here, probably stuff some tape in there or something so it helps uh, keep the grip not as wobbly or anything. So I would like to thank you guys for watching. If you have any sort of questions about fixing your AUG or anything, just feel free to comment below. So yeah, thank you guys again for watching and as always, have a nice day.